band shopping and we both got our bands today um so yeah that's exciting he's excited i think he's gonna wear his band today y'all he gonna try to sneak it on while i'm not looking band is really really nice um i don't know maybe we might show we'll show it at the wedding we'll, you guys will see it on the pictures because i feel like we're gonna spoil it if we show it now but it's actually very like i'm gonna try to hold off i don't know how to explain it how do you say like it's very personal like it was just like perfect it was like right there for him to get it and it was his size and everything so definitely fits into what i've been doing lately so, yeah. Two thumbs up. So, good news. Excuse the mess in the background, okay? <laughs> um, but we are going wedding dress shopping today. Yay! I'm so excited. Um, so initially I was going to do like October-ish, like the end of September, October-ish, go wedding dress shopping. But my October is like completely booked. Um, with photography for details and stuff so I was just like yeah we're not gonna have no time in October like that so let me just go ahead and like take advantage of it now um since my September is just like very laid back and chill I do have details to do tomorrow but of course that's the only details for this month so I'm just like yes we have to enjoy this moment and just take it all in um so as you can see I do have on like a dress um, just because, you know, I was going to try on dresses with my girdle so that, you know, I could see what it really looks like. Of course, my hair is like this, but potentially my hair is not going to be like this for the wedding. I'm just being honest. Um, and then I also put on green earrings just to see how the color looks when I'm trying on dresses because I may potentially wear green earrings. So, We'll see. I'll show you guys once we get there. Um, but I'm about to finish getting dressed and getting ready. And I'll talk to you guys later. September the 12th um, I know it's been like a minute since I've given updates on this vlog as far as the wedding goes um, but I did want to give like a quick update here um, just put down the deposit for the caterer which was $500 so I just literally paid the deposit for it um, so we are going with Hudson's catering um, and then also um, I went wedding dress shopping this weekend, so you guys probably seen that in the previous clips, and I have chosen my dress. I know, like, it's crazy because I actually thought I was going to have more dress fittings to have to go to to find a perfect dress, but I was able to find it on the first one. Somebody behind me, sorry. So I was able to find it on the first one, and then also... Um, we have wedding counseling coming up. So it was technically supposed to be the first weekend in September, um, but the pastor had to cancel due to other obligations that he had already like confirmed and forgot about. So we're going to have um, actual counseling at the end of the month, um, the last weekend in September. 
um, so I'm excited about that. We have been making our wedding playlist. So we actually went over our wedding playlist this past weekend and we realized that we both had put slow songs on anything and like just love songs. So we had to go back through and just like <laughs> um, put some, add some fast songs and take some of the slow songs off. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we've done that. Um, and then also I'm working now on finishing up like information as far as like what time certain things are going to be, what time we need the photographer to be there, everything that we're like literally trying to do that day. So I'm trying to put it in a timeline. Um, so yeah, I think that's kind of like all of the updates for now. If I'm not mistaken, I feel like I'm missing something uh, to update you guys on as far as the wedding goes, but I don't know. Um, so yeah, we have like three vendors right now that we're working to pay off before we start working to pay on the flowers for the wedding. So we have the uh, venue that we have to finish paying off. So we're trying to pay that off by November. Um, we have the photographer that we have to pay off. We have two more payments with the photographer. Um, so we have a payment coming up in October. Then we're going to have a payment actually on our wedding date. But we're going to, of course, pay it before our wedding date because we don't want anything to have any payments like in the last two to three weeks of December. So we do have a goal of making sure that everything is done within like the second week of December. Um, and then the caterer, we only have to pay um, one more deposit and then we'll be officially done with paying them. Um, and then of course I had to pay full in my wedding dress. Shout out to my mom. She actually purchased my wedding dress. I'm like so thankful. Um, straight up exciting. Um, so Emmanuel will actually be going to do his suit um, fitting sometime either this month or next month. I'm not sure exactly when he's going to go. Um, but of course, I'll let him give you guys an update on that. So he'll be trying to do that. Um, so we're using like a um, code through a wedding wire and it's like two different suit companies. So he can decide which one he wants to do. Um, also... Um, we were supposed to have counseling the first week of September, um, but the pastor had other obligations that he forgot about. So he had to kind of like cancel on us. Um, so we'll actually be doing it the last Saturday in September, um, which is this month. So we're kind of excited about it. Like we've been like working towards certain things that we knew we needed to work on as far as in our relationship. So, you know, we did determine that you know like we wanted to do premarital counseling that was without a doubt we had already said this before we even got engaged like we talked about a lot of things before we even got engaged surprisingly um so we already kind of knew like some things that we wanted to do as far as the wedding goes um i'm also in therapy working on myself you know to be a better wife a better stepmom things like that so um you know just doing things on the back end that a lot of people don't see um also um i am working on my pinterest board so i'll try to like do like a little small little video over here not showing too much um because i don't want to give too much away for the wedding um but i'll probably show y'all just like the main board um of like a lot of ideas that i had for the wedding um but i've also broken down my pinterest board and like put it into like um a perspective of like ceremony reception ideas boom then you got the shot list for the photographer boom then you have like the miscellaneous things that we're doing in the wedding boom and then like engagement idea engagement photo ideas boom if we still actually end up doing it because initially we once we did the save the dates we were like well we're just used to save the dates as our engagement photos but now we've been kind of like talking a little bit more about just doing engagement photos all together. Um, so we'll probably be working towards doing that by December, November-ish. We'll see. Um, <laughs> so yeah. And I think that's kind of like all of the updates. Oh, and we've been working on a wedding playlist. So we actually, I had to go do detail shots um yesterday in rock hill so we were driving up and i was like well let's listen to our playlist to see what kind of songs we got and what songs we need to add and all this and that so we actually end up listening to our playlist 
y'all why in the world we have all of these slow songs on our playlist like it's the most funniest thing ever so we literally while we're on the road he's typing in songs that we can add so once i got to like the venue that i had to take pictures at we were waiting around for the time for me to officially go in there to take the pictures and so we sat in the car and we were just adding more songs and we was like yo like we didn't realize how much we added slow songs <laughs> so yeah our playlist is getting there um we are adding a little bit more stuff yes we are going to get a dj i did not talk about that at all um yeah so we are getting a dj uh we're going to reach out after we make this third payment for the photographer we're going to reach out because we're trying to be very smart about our money as far as like how we're paying things because we don't want everything to be coming at us at once and also us trying to move into an apartment during this time or just a house or whatever we're choosing to do we just don't want everything to be coming at us at one time so we are taking our time with a lot of things um and being that our wedding is on a monday thankfully a lot of people are still available a lot of people are not booked so that's the benefit of getting married throughout the week in the beginning of the week um so we are going to reach out to our dj that we have in mind we're going to reach out to her um at least in october so that we can see how much she'll charge and we can go ahead and get a deposit paid um but we were just trying to get at least one of these um three knocked off the list as far as the venue the photographer and the caterer so we honestly if like thinking about it we might honestly just knock off the uh caterer first that'll be like the first one that's like completely paid in full because it's actually the cheapest one on our list right now um that in the venue because i paid like half of the venue already so we only have another half to pay i'm also looking i was talking this weekend with my mom and my sister um and i just want to make sure that they have enough time to set up things get things in order and not feel rushed i don't want nobody to feel rushed on the wedding day at all so i'm looking to actually do a couple of more hours um within the venue so probably that friday like do like three hours or maybe four hours for them to come in and set up the night before as much as they can so when they come in on the day of the wedding they don't have that much to do and then they could just kind of relax and be unstressed on the wedding day because i want them to <laughs> i want them to enjoy this moment just as much as me um so that's like really big for me um so yeah that is what we are doing um so we'll pay for that we'll worry about that like maybe in december because i'm sure it won't be as hard to add time to a venue as it would be if i did not have it at all um so yeah that is some of the updates that we have as of right now as on venue shopping looking for venue vendors in general so it felt like i was doing a lot at the beginning i was able to give you guys two vlogs like pretty much back to back but now um because we are like you know not locking in our vendors and we are having things um like deposit like we're paying our deposits and stuff we're just kind of like doing small things here and there now so like the wedding playlist and then doing dress shopping and then doing the tux fitting and stuff like that so it's nothing major yet um i think we won't be doing anything major major until like the wedding like is literally getting here we're gonna have to go back to the venue because mind you emmanuel still have not seen the venue i know crazy but we're gonna try to get him in so the next time we put a deposit down like we put put another payment down on the venue i'm gonna try to get it where he can go in and see the venue on a friday um so yeah that's pretty much all of the updates hopefully i can update you guys again soon but of course i'm gonna take you guys on the process of me doing the save the dates this week i'll um, show you how that's gonna go um and yeah so i'm excited everything is coming together slowly but surely um and i hope to give you guys more updates soon on locking in more vendors and things like that so talk to you guys soon
so we're closing out the wedding vlog um this wedding vlog as you can see was just showing wedding dress shopping and it was showing wedding band shopping all of the good stuff that you guys are probably was waiting on um so of course i had to make sure i got it in this vlog um this vlog didn't have too too much but it did give you guys a lot of updates um and of course like you know updates come so frequently things that we're working on just coming so frequently so um, i'm super super excited about everything we're literally less than 100 days away i think we have like 90 days um left and this is so crazy i'm so excited um we are still in wedding counseling so we've had three sessions so far i don't know how much more sessions that he's going to have us do um but it's honestly like so amazing and most of the things and this is the good thing about whenever this is for any advice or anybody that's looking to get married or anything like that like one of the things that we were really really big on was talking about things that we knew we needed to talk about as far as marriage goes so like we was having most of the conversations that we're having now in premarital counseling we are we literally already had these conversations but he's making us dig deeper he's making us you know think a little bit deeper than what we were thinking when we were talking about this stuff um so i'm like really really excited about like the end result of this I people probably dread this process but we're odd and we're different so we actually love this process we look forward to wedding counseling every week um that we go and so yeah that's pretty much it i don't really have any new updates from like the last two weeks from when i gave an update um truthfully the updates are kind of the same in a way um i go back at the end of the month for another dress fitting just to make sure nothing changed on my dress and it's pretty much all of the updates and also shout out to my client um tawana she gave me a few things um for me to use for my wedding day um, i'm so thankful for you she actually recently got married in august um so when she reached out and asked that you know i want to utilize any of the things that she had i was like girl yes i will take it um so i'm really really thankful for that um and i'm gonna try to make sure i show that in the next vlog so that you guys can see the things that she gave us um and yeah so i'm like really excited to save the dates have went out i'm just literally going to mail the other ones tomorrow or today um i just have to get some stamps so i probably will get some stamps or have my mama get some stamps and she closer to the post office and then um i put them in the mailbox tonight uh so yeah that's the plan is to go ahead and try to put them in the mailbox tonight so i can get them off and these people can get their save the dates because i'm working on the uh the rest of the invitation like the detail portion and all of that um and putting everything together this week so that i can go ahead and get those invitations printed and then by like the first of november all of these invitations will be going out um so i'm like really really excited about this um so yeah that's pretty much all of the updates i hope that you guys enjoyed this wedding vlog i hope that you guys um got a lot of information from this wedding vlog as far as how things are going um i hope i didn't talk talk too too much in this vlog i try not to overly talk in them but it'd be so hard because that's the only way i can get updates on the wedding um but yeah i'm really excited i can't wait to uh, start on the next vlog and show you guys all of the things that we're working on um because now we're like digging deep into things um uh, we're just trying to make sure that um we end wedding premarital counseling on a good note before we dig into more things so um yeah i'm like really excited and i hope you guys enjoying this journey so far with the wedding vlogs if you have not please make sure you go back and watch the first and the second wedding vlog if you have not watched it please make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and i'm going to continue to try to give like some hacks on instagram as far as wedding planning goes so make sure you stay tuned i'll talk to you guys later peace